Hi girls, are you having a good morning? Good morning again my family, spoonies, and everyone else, and also dogs. No matter how many chewies they have, they always have to chew the same one. Are you taking my spot, dog? <laughs> You're cute, buddy. Look at these cutie bears. Are you guys being just the cutest? It's about 2 o'clock in the morning on the 3rd of October. It's October 3rd, 2018. And my parents have just left to the emergency room because my mom's blood pressure seems to be out of control, so I'll keep you posted. I really hope she's okay. Like, expect the unexpected is the theme of my life right now. <laughs> but at least I have two cute doggies who don't like this way. Hey there, it's about 2.30 or 3 in the morning and my parents just got back. Looks like my mom had a bullhorn headache from a neck problem she's been having that she actually has surgery scheduled on I can't even like form normal sentences but she's okay everything's okay she got meds and all night I've had a pile of cutie bear <laughs> I love you Poppy has been the most attentive I've just been like these are like tear stains what is wrong with me? I just cannot stop having random anxiety attacks or panic attacks, I guess, because they're random. You, you want to be in the vlog? <laughs> Puppy kid. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and I ate two leftover chocolate chip pancakes that I didn't show you. I'm sure you're so disappointed that you didn't get to see that. Oh yeah. Hey, it's me, the most beautiful Spoonie in the world. Not your kind of beautiful, my kind of beautiful. It's 7.30 in the morning. I'm finally starting to get sleepy after all the adrenaline from worrying about my mom is finally worn off. I'm gonna get some rest and then once again attempt to take one or two dogs to the airport if I can manage by myself because I'm not about to have my mom come with me. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. I have no idea. Who even knows what I'll feel like when I wake up. I'm gonna take some magnesium and some Beginning serene and my eyes are swollen. My everything is swollen and red. I'm just like, if this was as much as I could possibly handle, I'm this much done. <laughs> That's okay, I'll get over it in my sleep. Another goal is to maybe try and bathe today. Maybe I should like lower my standard a little bit and not go to the airport. Maybe I should just bathe. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just so all or nothing and like once I get myself psyched up to do something then I can like go for a few hours but like I can't psych myself up a whole bunch and then like do something that's only 30 minutes long because then like have the come down. It's hard to just like deal with plus like you never know what stupid body is gonna do. I'm just, I can't hold my head up anymore. I'm at borderline my worst right now. But at least I have Mr. Poo Poo Ped to help me and love me. He's mad because I won't feed him yet. Okay, love you buddy, kiss kiss, XOXO. Good boy. Best view in the house, huh buddy? Kiss, look it, look it. Thank you, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> And the Retired Service Dog of the Year Award goes to this pumpkin! <laughs> Levi's currently sleeping as I'm having rolling anxiety attacks. Some of them have emotional triggers, some of them have physical triggers, some of them don't have triggers. I'm just really exhausted and I have a headache and this baby girl and this baby boy just go on shifts and they're doing amazing. I just want to train my dogs and live. <laughs> Daisy is such a ham. In case you don't know the story of Daisy, I'll tell you briefly since this vlog is boring AF and super short. Basically, in the fall of 2004, there were a slew of hurricanes, like four or five, that went through the central Florida area and Daisy's mom was found in a lake close to my house. One of my parents' customers' neighbors had the puppies and we were looking for an ESA for me at the time, I was 12. We found her! 
and she was 20 bucks. And I didn't know what breed she was for a long time, but eventually I figured out she was a Fox Red Lab. I thought she was a 50-50 for a long time, 50-50 Golden Lab. She was my ESA until I went to college, and then while I was in college, I... Well, she was actually an at-home service dog because she was doing tasks at home before college, but I just like didn't know that, so I just called her an ESA, if that makes sense. Like, I was just like ignorant about like service dogs as a kid, and just like knew that service dogs existed, but I thought they were just like for blind people, even though Daisy did tasks. I digress. So, went to college, got educated, figured out that she actually does do tasks, and I was like, well, she's really well socialized, and she goes to a lot of places with me, so might as well just like public access train her for things like restaurants, occasional grocery store, and in college, I was like embarrassed about needing her all the time, so I kind of like just didn't tell people that how dependent I was on her, if that makes sense. I just was like, this is my dog, she goes everywhere with me, haha. <laughs> like, you know, I wasn't like, this is my service dog, unless like, it just like didn't, wasn't in my agenda at the time to like say that to people. I don't know, it's weird. I'm more comfortable with myself and my disability now. I digress. I'm trying to channel my excess adrenaline into talking to you instead of crying and heaving and rolling around the floor. Then, after I went to college, she um, came home with me and then she was too old to like work and go places with me all the time. She can work at home for maybe like 20-30 minutes at a time, but like I'm the kind of person that needs a psych dog for maybe like two or three hours at a time sometimes. Her stamina definitely had gone down and I retired her like when she was 11, 10, something like that. And she's 14 now. And then I trained Levi. She really does love working and that's why I hardly ever refuse her when she asks to work because I know that Oh, I thought Poppy ate something, but she didn't. I thought, I forgot what I was talking about. Great, yay. <laughs> Guys, I hate this so much. I feel such, like, failure. I'm trying so hard not to be negative, but, like, I'm just gonna be honest with you. Like, I'm in that place right now. I am. Watching my peers get their PhDs <laughs> that, like, that was my goal, you know? I like having to rearrange my like life. Just, I'm just really tired. Chronic mother fatigue. Like resting just like isn't helping more. Like I slept for like freaking 14 hours yesterday. I slept for, I'm awake, but I'm not like cognitively available to do self care, to do anything. I'm like in this like paralysis state kind of where I can just like move about my bed in like my bedroom and like go to the bathroom. Like even like going pee, like I hold it for so long because forming the thought of your bladder is full and you need to go to the bathroom, like that's tiring. I just like hate feeling like a walking inconsistent poop head in my own bubble not concerned with anybody but like I am I'm so concerned with everybody I have so many people that I love and I want to be with I just feel like I can't participate in life right now I have been taking pills and I have been doing all that stuff I just don't have the energy to show you this is what I'm working on at this moment in time I just like kind of walk over and take a few or I'll roll over and take a few every so often just trying to get them down like the problem is my esophagus is really swollen so it's like hard to get food down and hard to get pills down. I feel this like pressure from the outside. I don't even know where it comes from, but I just feel this like pressure to like be all these different things and like I just feel pulled in a million different directions right now. Emotionally and physically and I'm just, it's so overwhelming. I just want to train my damn dogs. I just want to get better. I just want to go back to school. I just want to live. And if I have to film myself not living in order to feel like I'm living a little bit, then I'm gonna freaking do it. Sorry I'm emotional. I'm sorry that I'm not all the other things that all the other chronic illness like bloggers and bloggers and like I'm just not like them. I'm just not. I just like don't care about the stuff that they care about. Not that what they care about is wrong. Like I'm not like, oh, they care about this this surface level stuff and that's whatever. It's like not even like that. Like it's not even surface level. It's just like to me, advocacy is telling my story. Welcome to my brain where there are no complete thoughts and the points don't matter. I am proud because I was able to get up and get an apple. So that's cool. Honey crisp only. I'm trying to calm down and just focus on editing because like it gets my mind off of stuff. I guess I'm just gonna eat my apple and finish my pills and call it a night because all I'm gonna be doing is watching TV and trying to rest and thinking about how I can start over or something. I don't, I don't know. 
thanks for watching the third boring day of vlogtober where I continually try and fail but never give up. Daisy, you say goodnight to the vlog? Say goodnight, I love you, I'm a good girl. Say, say goodnight to the vlog. He says goodnight.